Okay, here's the queen right here. She's the biggest bee in the colony. She's twice the size of the workers at the long back end. And she'll live for anywhere from two to five years. In her lifetime, she'll produce over a million children. And you can see she's got a circle worker bees right across her court circle or courtyard, as some will call. To constantly clean and groom the queen and feed her royal jelly and honey and pollen. At the same time, she maintains the order in the colony. And she gives off pheromone chemicals which the workers will eat that render them sterile. So she's the only one in there that lays. If the queen were to be removed, the workers' ovaries will start to develop and they'll begin laying eggs. But they won't hatch into workers though, they'll hatch into drones. It's a situation called laying workers or some beekeepers will call false queens. But so long as this, girl, this queen is present, everything will be good. She's a good looking queen too. Two weeks, lots can go happen here. A lot of bees have got they got a lot of food in here, and a lot of pollen, there's a lot of brood being raised, and that's a good thing. Drone right there. And every day, this queen she lay for two thousand eggs a day. Just, oh, there she goes. She's laying an egg right there. And there's the workers cleaning her. So she's getting hidden by the other workers there. <laughs> she's laying another egg. Wow. Number three, right there. She goes again. One after another, this is all she does. Her life just lay eggs. Pretty much is a virtually an egg laying machine, as some people call it. But without the queen, without the girl, this hive would be perished. But perish unless they took a young larva or some eggs and raised the queens from them. Sometimes the queen, which is irritated, she makes a high pitched piping or whining sound, but and you can hear it, but does she's not doing it this time though. That's so cool. And you all see how everything's arranged in this mm -hmm. frame too. Right here at the bottom, you got it stored honey. And it band along right here next to the honey, you got pollen. And right here in the middle is where all the brood is at. She, when she lays her eggs, she, the queen lays it in ever expanding concentric patterns. And we see a good bird pattern with a lot of worker caps like this right here. It means you got a good queen. If they if all the cappings are scattered and they got dome shaped tops, means that there's the queen's laying drones and nothing but drones means she's unfertile and she needs to be replaced. But this is like a good queen here, so she should be good. This 
some more of the queen right there doing her thing. She's laying one egg after another. Right now, because it's calling it's kind of small and young, they're really calm and real gentle. Just when you get more and more guard there, the colony gets bigger. That's when they're more aggressive. So because of that. That's why we use a smoker right here to calm them down. Some beekeepers will often mark this queen, the queen with uh, a dab of paint on her back for easy identification. Of course, I could do that to myself though, but I got good eyes and I can pick her up pretty well just by the way she looks. There we go, another egg. Another week or so, new workers will hatch and the colony will begin to grow. That's when the population will be at its lowest, is in right before the three week mark hits. So it takes 21 days for a worker to develop, and after 21 days pass, that's when new workers will emerge and the hive will begin to grow. They've got a ways yet to go, they still got quite a few empty combs they need to fill in, so as long as she keeps the queen keeps doing this, things will look good. I'm going to go ahead and put the comb back so we can so the queen's back in her hive safely and maybe check on some other hives here. Enjoy. <laughs> 